Hey everyone, Jim and Cindy here from Out of Pocket. We're back again today to actually talk some more about generators. We had tremendous feedback. Thank you all for your comments, your questions, and a lot of the information that you also had. And it got us to thinking that there's more information that we might be able to get that might help all of us when trying to properly size a generator or when deciding between a generator and a battery system for the pocket. So what we've done, we have a plan for today to collect some data. <laughs> We've made this chart that we'll be filling out with all the data we collect. First part of the data collection will be to take some measurements without the generator to figure out how much draw the air conditioner pulls and how noisy it is without the generator on the outside. So what we've done to support this is we've actually wired the pocket up to our Yeti power station. We can completely power uh, the whole van from that power station. We just can't run the air conditioning right. very long. Right. So we'll take these measurements so we'll know how much noise uh, we're making. Then we'll hook up the generator and we'll take some measurements about how noisy that is, both inside the van, five feet away, 10 feet away, 20 feet away, when it's idling, when the air conditioning's on low cool, when it's on high cool. So we'll know how, how to answer those questions everyone had about how noisy is it, can you sleep inside, Etc. Etc. Right, because everybody's a little <clears> subjective. <throat> I kind of like it a little louder in where I sleep, and some people need it dead quiet. So, decibels, nice objective measure. So that's the plan for today. Ah! Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Like I said, we have this extension cord using our RV power adapter connected to the van, and then it's circling around the van and comes back in and into this. Yeti power station. So that's how we're going to run this test without the generator. In addition to measuring the power, we're also going to measure noise. So we have this sound meter app, turn it so it's reflecting a little bit, there we go, um, that we're also going to measure the noise for the air conditioner at the different settings. I'm so, going to be up under the, up by, up under the air conditioner, up on the bed. Yeah, and we're not going to focus on you because it's dark up there. We have all yeah. the other lights off in the van, so we only measure the power of what we're focused on, which is the the air conditioner. Low fan. High fan. Low cool. Interestingly, at this power, that battery can only run this thing for 1.8 hours. Do the high cool. All right, high cool. I'm going to watch for a spike. Go ahead. Nine sixty three. And the compressor is definitely on. Yeah, it's cold. Okay. See, I never saw it spike above above a thousand watts. So get go ahead and turn it to high cool again. Okay. I have to go through everything to do it. It's fine. Okay. Too fast. It shut down. It overloaded it. It's probably because I went up too fast. Huh. Okay. Alright, so I, I reset the Yeti and we're going to slowly work up through the, the four modes again. So go ahead, Cindy, let's do it. Low fan. High fan. Go for low cool. Okay, I hit about 960 for a spike there. Now go to high cool. Now it's at 1,000, 1,031. That's high cool? Yeah. Okay. Well, definitely recommend ramping up. It's running just over a thousand watts now. Um, it didn't have that huge spike like it did the first time, so. All right, so that tells us what our running wattage is. When we turned it up really quickly, it seemed like it jumped up to like 2,500, but working up through it slowly, it doesn't seem to, um, to overload it. So there we go. Um, here's what we found. Here's the data we collected. The base 
kind of varied from 9 to 35, sometimes up to 50, maybe depending on if the fridge was kicking in a little bit. Then with the low fan, about 170, high fan 228, low cool 870, and with the high cool, it was in the 900s, the second time we did it, it was over 1,000, so we captured it at 1,050. The interesting thing about the power was it made a big difference if you ramped up that switch slowly, fan, low cool, let it stabilize, then to high cool. When we did the experiment, we just turned it from off to high cool, it generated a huge spike over, I saw it register over 2,000 on the on the power meter, and that battery is supposed to support a spike up to 3,000, and it cut out. So um, definitely that's a lesson learned, ramp up slowly. As far as the noise level, really it's driven by the fan, it seemed to peak at about 65 decibels, which isn't too bad. Now we'll compare that uh, when we have the generator run. Okay, so for this test, I'm going to be hooking the generator up to the pocket again. I am going to use this one pound tank. There were some questions about, well, how long will the air conditioning run? So we're going to run these tests on the one pound tank, and if everything goes well, we're just going to leave it running on low cool, and let's see how long this one pound canister lasts. This is 5 feet, about 72 decibels. Okay, so inside the pocket, yeah, it looks like 40 <laughs> decibels with the generator just idling outside with all the doors closed. And we're blowing it away when we talk. But of course, yeah. but 40. 40 was the answer. 40 was it. Okay, so here are the results of our tests measuring the noise with the generator running. Now, Cindy, you took the measurements inside the van. What did you think? I did, and I think the evidence is pretty conclusive that most of the sound, almost all the sound, is coming from the air conditioning unit itself, the fan. If you look at the decibel readings here, even at high cool, it only read at 67 decibels, which is only two decibels higher than the noise inside running the high cool off of the battery, which is soundless. As far as the generator outside, you know, there are some differences as you you know, they go down a little bit as you go farther away. But even from five feet away, from idling to high cool, it wasn't that much louder. So it makes me wonder if maybe in that previous video, yeah. just the microphones picked it up and made it sound like it was so loud. It didn't seem... It didn't. You know, and I from mean, the comments, louder. everybody felt it was really loud. Yeah. But when we were there, we didn't think it was that loud. And the numbers didn't... I mean, this doesn't seem loud Kind to of bear out our experience yeah. that we had. And yeah. then finally, the one pound propane tank test it lasted an hour now the only thing to point out is at some point probably three quarters to a little further yeah, through the yeah, test actually I think it was more like 85 percent through yeah we yeah. got an overload alert yeah. on the generator and the air conditioner stopped running so it was just sitting there idling the generator for that last little bit of the test but I think you know an hour per pound is maybe a good guide I do we think the one low. thing we learned here though is that you know maybe we do need a soft start yeah. if that overload happened in the middle of the night we'd lose, lose the power to the van. So maybe that's something we're going to have to do and cover putting in in a future video. All right. So thank you very much for joining us. If you found this worthwhile and you found it interesting, let us know. Any ideas you have, please feel free to comment. And as always, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time.